Good morning, everyone. I'm happy to begin this morning's presentation of the Marcus Downtown Economic Impact Award. This award was created to recognize individuals, companies that strengthen and advance our community to the entire uh, State Farm Arena, uh, the Atlanta Hawks, to Tony Reschler, you and your gang, but especially Steve Coonan and all their associates. Congratulations on this well-deserved award. You guys really deserve it. It's terrific and I welcome you to the award. Under the leadership of principal owners Tony Ressler and Jamie Gertz since 2015, the Atlanta Hawks and State Farm Arena continue to raise their game. Ressler and Gertz committed to transforming downtown and making an impact throughout the city of Atlanta. In October of 2018, the Hawks completed the second largest renovation in NBA history, transforming State Farm Arena into a next generation venue focused on experience, service and entertainment. The Hawks and State Farm Arena's commitment to Atlanta goes far beyond its building and its operations. When the COVID-19 pandemic began, the Hawks partnered with the surrounding community, as well as organizations like Gooder, to help mitigate food insecurity. The partnership resulted in 220,000 pounds of food donated to nearly 6,000 households and over 1,000 senior citizens totaling 27,000 meals. The Atlanta Hawks also partnered with Fulton County to transform State Farm Arena into Georgia's largest ever voting precinct for the August runoff elections, November general elections, and January runoff elections. Steve Coonan and I have been, uh, our friends have been friends for some time. I had no idea that the impact that one minute telephone call would have uh, with respect to its impact on the election year, because as a direct result of our partnership with uh, the Atlanta Hawks and State Farm Arena, other uh, NBA teams saw what we were doing or read about it. They began to get involved and they became excited about it and in fact wanted to duplicate what we had done here in Fulton County, Georgia. And the Wrestler Gertz Family Foundation, in partnership with the Atlanta Hawks, is committed to a long-term comprehensive plan to provide financial, marketing, and educational resources to Black-owned businesses and entrepreneurs by contributing $5 million to the Herman J. Russell Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship. There are two ways that you can look at impact. There's the actual thing that's contributed, the money, the time, the resources, but we cannot discount when they hear that a billionaire is taking interest in my business, a sports franchise is investing in my community. And I think the Hawks organization is very steadily moving towards transformational change. And that's very powerful. As the vaccine becomes more readily available, State Farm Arena is working diligently to reopen safely for its fans. State Farm Arena is the first sports and entertainment venue in the country to successfully become Share Care Health Security Verified, addressing the critical need to establish confidence in the age of COVID-19 and beyond. On the court and throughout the community, State Farm Arena and the Atlanta Hawks are proving that being true to Atlanta is more than a mantra. Mr. Wrestler, you're the man. We really appreciate you guys. Congratulations and thank you again. Well, thank you, Central Atlanta Progress, for this special recognition. In such a challenging year marked by really a global pandemic that has taken hundreds of thousands of lives nationally and thousands in Metro Atlanta, a shutdown of the US economy, a widespread racial, social justice and economic inequality reckoning, and a critically important election year when the ability to safely and efficiently exercise the most fundamental civic right, that is to vote, was under tremendous pressure. I'm much more comfortable discussing two key values of mine, to recognize the great achievements come through working as a team, not as an individual, and that actions are the measure of one's values. I accept this award with great humility, especially given who the past recipients have been, such iconic Atlanta leaders as Ted Turner, a global corporate leader like Coca-Cola, and downtown anchors, including the Aquarium, Centennial Olympic Park, and Grady Hospital, which has been so critical during the COVID-19 pandemic. As a franchise, 
the Atlanta Hawks and I are proud of demonstrating the value of a public-private partnership with working together to create the model used across America by having our facility serve as a safe, efficient voting center. We'd also like to recognize our friends at the Falcons for joining us in this effort for the January runoff election. I wanna point out how important our work is with the Russell Center as well, where we're investing in making downtown Atlanta a true hub of entrepreneurship by providing expertise, mentorship and access to capital to people of color, something that continues to be a real national issue. And lastly, dozens of local investors and I are putting our capital to work at Centennial Yards. As I stated more than five years ago when we purchased the Atlanta Hawks, Atlanta is a great global city and all global cities must have a vibrant downtown. This means thousands of jobs, permanent jobs, and a vibrancy that will enhance our neighborhood and the entire region. Atlanta is a hub for entertainment and business travel, and a more connected and modern downtown will help ensure our justified title as the capital of the Southeast and a truly modern global city where economic opportunity is a top priority. So I accept this award on behalf of all the people working and living downtown, which is poised for taking its next great step forward through partnerships among the private sector and the public sector. As an Atlanta resident for a few years now, I couldn't be more excited about where we're headed downtown and beyond. Thank you so much.